kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Hey everyone, how's it going out there uh, in YouTube land and Facebook? Uh, you know, we are here for another episode of Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. Now, this is of good. This is out of the norm. You know, we are here on on a Thursday. So on a Thursday here, uh, we are here to promote it uh, this event this Saturday as well. And in order to help me do that. We have the, the the people who are putting it on, the great people, they're called the uh, Team 2 Excel, all right? So they are local here. They have an office in Southfield, um, but they do other cities around the world and I'm, or around the US. And uh, to help bring that all together and explain more about who they are, what they are, um, I have uh, Larick, Patrice, Wendy Raven and with Raven is also Miranda I believe is that right yes Miranda so, Miranda all right so uh first off thank you for joining me thank you for coming on and we're gonna try to do let's do it like this here we go so we're gonna come on here and I want to know first off Wendy, thank you for coming back on here. You were here on, on Tuesday with us. I really appreciate coming back. You are part of this 2XL team, and it, it sounds like it's a great team, at least from what I've heard from it. So um, now I don't know who wants to start off, but give me the background of two, uh, Team 2XL, how you guys got started, where you guys got started, and what was the origin for that? Who wants to start? Can I can I just start um, to say something? I just want to say, excuse me. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Okay. Um, thanks everybody for watching, and I would like to welcome my team to Excel and the founder Lorette Calhoun and his beautiful wife Patrice Calhoun and Miranda and Raven. Welcome, welcome everybody. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Wendy. All right, so I'm gonna jump in on answering that uh, question for you. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, 2003. Uh, it was actually at that time it was myself and a group of similar entrepreneurs that we were all in real estate. We were all investing, and we were all either in real estate or in a stock market. And we came together to form an organization that would empower people to learn how to use real estate in order to, be able to create wealth for their family. So that was in 2003 yep. in the basement. And uh, from that wow. point, it began to evolve into different uh, models and different niches along the way because the industry crashed in 08. So mm -hmm. we ended up focusing on our events and marketing side and uh just been you know one thing after another but it's always been based in empowerment empowerment this lovely team here has been, been with us over the last really the longest person on the team here uh we've been together for about eight years inside this particular business model so you got eight five and three and two <laughs> so in our 14 we have more team that's not uh, here's some newer members, but this is our core team, and we've been rocking okay. together. So, here, yes, yeah, and I want to say uh, also, you know, thank you. I mean, you guys are on your way to Detroit at the moment, so you're here coming for Saturday's event, and 
it is awesome that you guys are on the road and you're taking the time to be on here. So I got to commend you for that. You know, uh, thank you for that. You know, um, and you know, it just shows you guys' dedication to come here. Now, Wendy, we already have interviewed you and we already know that you're already in Detroit. So, you know, you got the shortest commute, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. So, so Larry, you, you said basically it's it started by a group of people help empowering for education. Is that right? Yeah. Is that in real estate or is it in just all all forms? Well, it was primarily real estate and entrepreneurship. So, with a higher okay. focus on real estate, but there was also an entrepreneurship component to teach business. Got it. So that that is really awesome. Uh, now, are you guys doing anything? You're just teaching anybody who comes to you. Are you guys uh, like how are you educating people to be able to do this? Are you putting on classes in different cities? Are you uh, in, or in in that city? Like how did you start off by by doing that? Hey, anybody want to jump in on that one? I'm on the ball. Huh? Go ahead, Patrice. I'm not sure. I uh, yeah, I think I can. Uh, I think you might be on mute. But talk loud. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, great. Well, um, well thank you, Randy, again for, for having us. We are so excited to have our events. We've been hosting events for since 2003. Um, Lorraine okay. started off in empowering people with information and and resources in the real estate industry and actually transferred itself over into life and also into business because you know in order for you to be successful in anything you have to have your mind right so right. we incorporate a lot of principles into our education not just information but also where are you at personally how can we okay. get you unstuck so that you can reach your complete capacity so uh -huh. that's that's pretty much how we do that. Basically, how do you say how? First off, you know, you're driving. Thank you for for you know even responding to that. I really appreciate it. So signal does come in and out. So please bear with us. We're we're doing the best we can. Um, but you know, with that being said, like you know, how do you take somebody and if, and if anybody here, anybody out there who's watching has any questions, put them in the chat and we'll answer them. How do you tell whether they need to go to the next level? How do you get them to the next level? What's that process like? Yeah. So we have a process called the 90 day challenge. We'll be introducing that this weekend, the EPRO, the real estate EPRO 90 day challenge. EPRO stands for entrepreneur professional. And okay. it's a step-by-step -step process with a lot of accountability, weekly calls, hand-holding, but also yeah. accountability to make sure that people start off with an assessment to see what their strongest strengths are, what people see them doing the most, what are they most passionate about. Because a lot of people get in real estate and they just jump in based on what the last person is doing. It. And me, uh, myself, been in the business over 20, 23 years total, but this business, 20. I know that you can jump in two feet, but it's something that you have no passion. You don't have the desire to build your skills in that area. And you yep. may like, you don't, you don't love sales at all, but you got into wholesaling. Key word was selling. Yep. So then you wonder why yep. it's not working for you when you could have took those same administrative skills and start a property management company and been just as successful, you know, or yep. hands-on skills to start a contractor business. And still been in the real estate industry so we do an assessment we use that assessment to guide them into a point that they have a niche and a focus and then we take them through 90 days of various activities and trainings to allow them to build up that business okay and, and focus so brandy asks uh do you do you all have uh, monthly meetings we do have monthly meetings. Thank you, Brandy. In every market that we go in with our Real Estate Biz Expo, 
we launched 30 days later a monthly meeting to keep people inspired to continue. So Wendy in the okay. corner up top there is going to start the monthly meeting there in Detroit area. It'll start yep. at our office and then it'll go to a local venue. And we have a meeting every month in Cleveland that's uh, every second Thursday of the month. Um, those are called Real Estate Investors Association meetings. Um, okay. We're going to be soon altering the name a little bit, but it'll be Real Biz Network meetings or something of that nature. But uh, but yes, they'll be in every every city that we have an event. Got it. So yeah, and you know, just like Brandy, I don't know if you're part of our Facebook group, Metro Detroit Off Market Real Estate Group. Uh, you know, a, as I see them, I will share them to the group as well. Well, heck, uh, you're gonna be helping possible. us lead them, Randy. You got to be on the team. <laughs> we Most definitely. Earlier, they know as, Most as definitely. Them, as I help them put them on. <laughs> yes. As we go, as we move forward, I will do all my best to help anybody and everybody I can. So, and th that's what I try to do. So, um, now with that being said, okay, so you come to each market and you're doing these biz expo, these expos, and that's your kind of launch into that city. Is that right? And now you're you're doing monthly meetings into that. Yes. So you're you're taking you're taking over markets basically, like you started off with Cleveland. Did you do Charlotte yet? Uh, Raleigh, Raleigh is Raleigh. our next stop in. Uh, well, it's not our next stop. Houston is the next stop in August. Okay. But Raleigh is in November. Raleigh is in November. So awesome, and ah, Brandy said yes, thank you, and yes, I am awesome. I'm glad to have you part of the group. So we will we will put that on, no problem. I always like people who who come and watch on YouTube, but they're still part of the group, you know. So <laughs> um, grows the channel. Now, again, anybody who is watching, please, if you have any questions, put them in the comments here. Um, it, you know, but we'll continue to go move forward. I I like the fact that that's kind of your you know this this expo is kind of your your launch into the into that that market that developed you know and so are you um are you guys looking to do fix and flips are you looking to just be like mentors are you looking to just to help other people funding wise or bring all those people who do those those things to help other people like tell me a little bit about that process raven you want to jump in well, I can speak on one of the programs that we have, which is called Property Sisters. And All that right. is a program. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful program. It's to educate women on the basic industry of real estate by empowering them with the tools okay. that will enhance their skills and put them in a position where they can employ them and what they've learned and also be able to increase the quality of life for them. And within that program, there's an opportunity not only to learn the industry of real estate, but to actually become a homeowner okay. through one of the other programs we have, which is called Launch Homes, where it's basically your home, your way. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So not only are you looking to help investors, but you're also looking to help potential homeowners. Yes. Yeah. That right. That That's awesome. Yeah. So, so with that, that is, that is really cool. Um, I've never seen anybody out there doing that. So there's a lot of different programs out there. Now I do have a question. Are you guys a, um, are you guys like a licensed agent as well? So we have one licensed agent broker, which is Patrice on our team, our team. Okay. And well, we have more in our in our network, but for well, right. the team, Patrice is the broker. Okay. So she had the same thing that has to do with that side, and then Wendy is the investor side, especially when it Got comes it. to the Detroit area. So all yep. transactions. And I do want to answer one add one thing to your um, yeah. question there is that we are there 
to develop, but we're mainly there to inspire other people to develop. Because a lot of times people just need more help improving their own communities. So if we do something there, it's usually going to be with someone versus coming in and saying, oh, look, look at all this territory. We can just take up all this property and buy it and fix it and create wealth that takes back to our community. It's really the opposite. Yeah. We're coming to inspire the Detroit area, the Cleveland area, the Carolina areas for people to wake up and take, take advantage of their own community because they know it best. Right. Was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 